This toothpaste is 10 years old and I'm going to make a new one today. For that I'm using my clay extruder and I'm using a quite big hole. Taking a bigger hole and putting over the big hole that I'm using to make it more sturdy and place it in this uh, ring for the extruder. And I'm going to take my white clay to put in the extruder. Remember to preheat it really good before you uh, put it into the extruder. I didn't do it quite good enough, so that's why my clay is coming out with these, uh, what you call that, holes in them. It's like, yeah, you can see it right here how it looks. And that's because I didn't heat it up all the way before I started extruding it. I'm extruding a little more clay than I need and I'm going to roll it with my glass plate to make it neat and nice looking again. I could have avoided this if I had heated up my clay enough. Then I'm going to cut off a piece and this is uh, my 1 to 12 scale ruler you see here. If you don't have this ruler, you can use a normal ruler and just cut off a piece that is 1.3 centimeters long. I flatten out one end of this little tube and then I made sure that it's still the same width all the way down, otherwise it will look really weird. Then I'm softening up the other end so it have a little round uh, look, rounding the corner so it looks neat. Then I take my ruler again and make sure it still have the right length. And if not, then I just cut it into length in the flat end. I have this tongue and it have this ripples down uh, the tongue legs or what you call that. And I use them to make this indent at the end of the tube so it looks like a really neat little tube. So that's the first part of this toothpaste. Then I roll a little bit of red clay into a very tiny snake and I bake it all. Now that everything has been baking, I am going to cut off pieces from this red snake and they are only like two or three millimeters long but you can make them in the length you like. Then I use my glue. This is the T8000 I'm using but you can use any kind you have. So E6000 would be perfect as well. I put a tiny bit of glue here on this white flat surface and I glue one of these red pieces on as the lid for this toothpaste. Do this with all of your toothpaste and let them dry before you continue. Then I printed out the label for my toothpaste on some water decal paper and I glazed the top of the paper so that it can uh, be in the water without smearing off the print. Cut it out in the right size. like this and now I find my water and I put it onto the back side and I just dab a little tiny bit of water on with my fingers and make the water work and then when it is ready you can just slide the paper off and you have the image and I'm putting the image onto the tube. This can be a little tricky, but that really makes it look awesome. And when you placed it, please leave it to dry for a little before you continue. I'll leave my PDF file for printing on water decal paper in the info box below. I use my tweezers to hold the lid of the little tube and then I'm going to take my UV gel 
and this is actually a UV resin gel um, that I'm going to use. Just put a tiny thin layer all around the tube itself, not on the lid. And leave it in your UV lamp for around 4 minutes before it's all ready to go. And that's all there is to this little craft. I hope you like it. I think it came out really good. So thank you for watching and happy crafting.